against evil men and the spirits, the, the demonic forces that reside within these individual men. All right? It says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, man. Now, we're gonna, it's going to go in to tell you what is the whole armor of the Most High. Because going back to 2 Corinthians 10, it says, for our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God to pull it down to the strongholds. It says, uh, Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Having our loins girded about with truth. Our minds, our mindset, man. With truth. Okay? And what is the truth? This word, the Bible. This is what should be re uh, 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 in your mind, meditating day and night, man. Okay? Now, the, 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 uh, the, the things of the world, man. The things of the world, the, the philosophies and doctrines of the world are, are evil, man. The scriptures say the heart is deceit, deceitful above all things. Who can know it? The mind frame is evil above all things. Right? It says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. That's going into those, those, um, those physical uh, uh, characteristics of an armor. But in the spirit is breaking it down. The breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Because we have to be quick in speaking this truth on the move. All right? Walking in the spirit. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Right? So there's another character, the shield. And it's likened unto faith. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All the false doctrines, philosophies, false accusations. Accusing our brothers day and night with the southern poverty uh, 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 law. You know? Trying to act like, you know, we're going to be uh, moved because we're classified in, in, in this, uh, along with the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. We don't, we don't care about that, man. We know the truth. We know who we worship. And it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is of the word of the Most High. You see? These are our weapons of warfare. All right? This is how we go to war. All right? Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there, there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You see? That's all we do. We broke it down to you. This is 2 Timothy 2 and uh, 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shemashiach. See, a good soldier of Yahweh Shemashiach, man, a spiritual so a soldier, a man of the Lord, a prophet. All right, teacher. That's it. I didn't say we're out there beating people and, and, and going to war, taking over forts and, you know, and, 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 and all this stuff. We're not about that, man. Esau is. Esau is the one that's about that stuff. No man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. You see? Pro chosen him to be what? A teacher. A prophet. To prophesy. To warn the people. Sound the, sounding the trumpet. Because there, nobody else is sounding it. Nobody is telling the truth, man. You know? Nobody's telling you the truth about America, about the, uh, the holidays, about the false doctrines in these churches. They're not going into words. They're not educating you, building you up. They're, nobody's doing that. Not the way our elders have, man. Not the way our spiritual uh, uh, fathers have, man. All right? It says... And if any man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Okay? So that's our weapons of warfare, is his word. Alright? Wisdom. Now going back to 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, it says, Casting down imaginations 
and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bring it into captivity and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's it, man. Grinding the powder, all the philosophies and false doctrines with this word, man. That's it. You know, this is our sword. Okay? Spiritual, man. Not, not no carnal thing. And I'm saying you don't got guys out there that are like that. There is. And, there, and we, we, we rebuke them. We get on them. And we tell the congregation, our brothers, not to have that same mentality. This is Isaiah 49 and 1. Listen, O isles, unto me. And hearken ye people from far. Uh, Yahweh had called me from the womb. From, my bow from the bowels of my mother had he made mention of the, my name and he has made my mouth like a sharp sword <laughs> you see he has made our mouth like a sharp sword which is the words right what ultimately is this this word we speak according to this word man all right this is uh isaiah 8 and 20 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So it's by this word is that we're able to deliver somebody from the obscurity of all this nonsense that goes on here in this earth, man. America, Europe, China, no matter, no matter where our people are, that's how we deliver them out of this knowledge, man. This word. Okay? But if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. All right? But it said, going back to Isaiah 49 and 2, And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he held me, and made me a polished shaft. And his quiver hath he hid me. Because he uses us, man, as instruments. All right, as a vessel to go on to, to push this word. Okay? To speak. That's all we're doing is speak, edifying, building up, teaching. That's all you ever re read when you go into the epistles of Paul, man. That's all it was about, ever, was teaching. Obeying the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right? Breaking down strongholds, being zealous for the truth. Speaking against lies, man. You know? Speaking the truth. That's what it boils down to. And that's what Yahweh Bashem delights in, man. He delights in His word being proclaimed. And being made mention his name, man. Right? So that's that's basically what uh truth is, man. Is is um the word. The word is the truth. We already know that. This is our second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You see? That's it. But we're, we're likened unto a soldier, don't get me wrong, but it's spiritual. We're likened unto a man of war, but to, towards against what? The, I read it in Ephesians 6 and 10, all the way down, man. Principalities of dark places and dark places. Wicked spirits, man. Casting down strongholds, man. You know, we already know what happened to those that were militant and trying to take things into their own hands. They were brought down. It tells you that in, in Acts chapter 5, man, when Gamaliel stood in the defense of the, uh, the apostles, man. He brought up um, accounts of certain men that, that rose up and they, were, uh, they came to naught. You know, they were put to death. You know, it shows you whenever you try to rise up against uh, a kings and things of that nature, you you, you will be destroyed, man. Because the most I didn't sanction it. And in this kingdom, Esau being the end of the world, the last uh, king, the king to rule the earth in wickedness, he's going to be brought down by the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You're going to fight the ultimate creator of the earth, man. You of all people, you're actually going to fight against him when he comes out from the heavens, man.
Kom. It's the second edge, it's 13. Uh, second Edges chapter 13 verse 8 After this I beheld and lo all they Which were gathered together To subdue him were sore afraid And yet Durst fight See because they're going to try to subdue Yahweh Yahweh When he comes from the heavens man They're going to try to prevent him stop him Destroy him And yet Durst fight they're going to fight the, the Lord of hosts man the creator of all this, the, the universe and the, the earth, the elements, whether they're seen or unseen, that's who they're going to fight against. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. The Third World's War is going to be the last war, man. Because in the book of Revelation, it tells you about the, the three woes, the three destructions. But that third one is where Yahweh Shai is going to intervene and, and destroy the, the wicked, man. All right? It says, And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. Because Yahweh Shai is going to do it all by way of the chariots, man. All right? It's like Esau got his, 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 his war crafts, his airplanes, his jets, his tanks, his missiles, and whatever other um, high-tech uh, uh, device weaponry that he has, he's going to use it against Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have it too, man. He's the one that gave you that knowledge to, uh, to, de to, 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 to de develop that instrument of war, man. It says, But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest. You know, that's what he's going to be destroying you. Grinding you to power by way of those missiles, man, those laser beams. Pure energy, concentrated energy. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which, were, which was prepared to fight. See? So this Edomite, this devil, is, is prepared to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashai. All right? A new, a new threat. A new future threat is on the horizon, and they've said that, man. I put up a video about it, you know? It says, um, And burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust, smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. See? He's gonna destroy them. He's gonna grind in the powder. And all, he, all, all Ezra perceived was them of, of small, uh, nothing but dust, man. You know, by way of those laser beams, man. Concentrated energy that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna shoot forth from from the chariots, man. But there's gonna be a great war in heaven. Here on the earth, there's gonna be a great war, the third woe, the third world's war is on the horizon, man. It's gonna happen. All right, a nuclear war is gonna uh, occur. All right, race riots, uh, 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 civil wars, there's going to be um, cannibalism, there's going to be great death in the land, man. And all we're doing is preparing you for that coming destruction, telling you the truth, telling you the things that are coming to pass, man. You know? This is uh, 2nd Edges 13 and 28. And he held neither sword nor any instrument of war, but that the rushing in of him destroyed the whole multitude that came to subdue him. You know, because Yahweh he ain't going to be holding no weapon of war. He's going to be in the chariots and he's going to be destroying people, man. You know, spiritually. Destroying you. All right. He ha all he has to do is speak a word and the elements, the elements that are in your body are going to uh, destroy you. You know? You'll just collapse, capsize, you know, get sucked into nothing. 
whatever the most high does, uh, thinks that's what's going to happen man you know that's how he's going to be destroying man and, and killing you know by way of fire this is a uh, This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming, man. With his chariots like a whirlwind to render anger with fury his rebuke with flames of fire, man. That's how he's coming back. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord <clears throat> shall be many. All right. So he's going to destroy all liars, all things, anything that rises against the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh will be cast down. And that's what we're doing in the process of that coming, you know, preparing the way for Yahweh Shem Yahweh <clears throat> That people <clears throat> don't have no excuses. <clears throat> Alright, so I hope it was edifying to you brothers out there. Stay strong. Till next time, Shalom.